Welcome back to another weekly reset in Destiny 2. This week we have the second week of Into the Light, and this week Bungie has added the mountaintop to the rotation, so you will definitely want to farm out a shiny roll. The roll I'm going to be looking for is a auto-loading holster and frenzy roll. The midnight coop has also been added here. I'm going to go for an explosive payload and one for all roll. Let me know in the comments down below what you're going to be looking out for. The Whisper of the Worm mission is still here, so make sure you craft your exotic. Now, jumping back to the normal stuff. We also have an amazing week, so don't miss any of this extra stuff as well. Don't forget to swing by Raul in the tower and buy your weekly Ascendant Alloy. These are very important going into the future to craft those enhanced weapon perks, especially with all of these new brave weapons, you're probably going to need as many as you could possibly get. This week's featured raid is Root of Nightmares. This is very, very important. We have all been waiting for this for a very long time. Long time. This raid has some of the best loot in the game that you will definitely want to get before you get into the final shape. Starting off with arguably one of the best guns in the game, the exotic conditional finality. You will be able to farm this consecutively over and over from the last boss, so definitely get in there and try and get your hands on this exotic. Any legendary gun that you get from this raid is also extremely good and it is all useful in a specific unique way. So if you get any guns, just keep them. All of these weapons have a unique weapon trait that increases damage against Tormentors and Lucent Hive, which is pretty nuts. The Briar's Contempt can roll with Reconstruction and Focus Fury, a very good linear fusion rifle. The Acacia's Dejection can roll with Reconstruction and Incandescent, a great solar trace rifle. And the Rufus's Fury can roll with Reconstruction and Tiger Lock, just to name a few. Moving on to the featured dungeon this reset, we have Ghosts of the Deep. Pretty good guns from here as well. The Navigator is the exotic, which is actually pretty useful, so you can also farm this one out. The No Survivors is a solar SMG, very similar to the Callus Mini Tool. It can roll with Reconstruction and Frenzy. And the Cold Comfort is a rocket launcher that can roll with Envious Assassin and Bait and Switch. Both of these guns are pretty good, and if you haven't got one, I would look out for it. Moving over into the exotic mission rotator, we have Vox Obscura. The exotic from here is the Dead Messenger, a pretty unique grenade launcher if you haven't got it. One legendary weapon that you should look out for from this mission is the Explosive Personality, a unique solar waveframe grenade launcher. This can roll with auto-loading holster and also one for all. As of this season, we also have Warlord's Ruin being the newest dungeon, so you can get loot from it every single week. Try and do the final boss at least once for a chance at the exotic Buried Bloodline. The same thing goes for Crota's End, so jump in there and at least do the final boss to buy your Red Border weapon from the vendor at the end. Don't forget to swing by the helm and purchase your free weekly Red Borders from Riven if you haven't already done this, because you'll want to get these crafted before the final shape. Once you finish up in the helm, swing by the tower and do all of your weekly pinnacle rewards from the three vendors, these being Vanguard, Gambit, and Crucible. All of these will reward you with some bright dust. Now I know it's not a lot, but it will all Add up by the end of the season. Also, while you're in the tower, don't forget to grab the bounties from Ada 1, as this will get you all of your synthwees for all of your cosmetic looks. You can do 10 of these per character per season, so do them passively. This week's Grandmaster Nightfall is rewarding the Warden's Law. Not a bad weapon, I would personally go for a 4 times a charm and a Vorpal weapon roll. Another bonus with this week's Grandmaster Nightfall is we also have double loot, and we also have a Vanguard boost. So this is a pretty good week to farm out some Nightfalls if you're looking for rep and also this weapon. And as always, to wrap the list up, head over to Neomuna and do some Vex Incursion Zones if you're missing out on any exotics on other classes. Anyway, Guardians, that will wrap the video up there. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this week's video, feel free to drop a like, subscribe, comment down below, and all that other fun stuff. Let me know what your favorite shiny role has been with Into the Light so far, and I hope you Guardians take full advantage of this week in Destiny 2. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.